I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do a part two. So it's part one and part two. I apologize because I have a good way of combining this. Okay, so here's what it was. Back in my, uh, what I was, what I left on the part one of this Walmart, and there's part two, is that Samuel Walton in 1986-89 is doing a lot of research and trying to figure out how he was going to be, uh, you know, how he became all familiar. When in my old timeline reality, the story that we were, you know, that we knew was that Samuel Walton actually worked for Kmart. Not kidding you. He was at Kmart. Uh, he had worked his way up to the ranks at Kmart. And he became a manager uh, at the top level, uh, like a vice president of Kmart. You know, it was in the corporate board boardrooms of Kmart, and uh, he was like a VP and stuff. And and uh, he did, he was a, he worked his way all the way up there, and was a major guy, right? And in that thing was that he was trying to change Kmart into being, uh, like I said, more uh, lower retail and stuff like that, buy more American and all these things, right? And he wanted to have lower cost. Well, he gets in dispute with Kmart, the the, the board of directors, and also with other uh, management, the CEO, and these other uh, uh, VPs. He gets such a bad argument, he actually leaves Kmart. He quits, and he tells them, not kidding, he tells them, this, he tells them, he goes, Wait, I am done with Kmart, and he goes, you know what? I am going to destroy you someday and take your business away from you because you've been so rotten to me. And I'm going to make a, I'm going to make my own, I'm going to do my own like, um, you know, my own retail, uh, retail business and company, right? Well, that's what's amazing. In that time, he ripped it quick, and that it was probably before the '80s even started. I think it was like 19, oh, uh, I don't, know, '80s or late '79 when they, when he, they said he had quit. Or maybe it was like 1982. I can't remember exactly when it was the date, uh, but he actually that he left Kmart and started building Walmart up, right? And he built it very quickly, and to, you know, to what to my reality and history wasn't that. And um, one of the things that was amazing about that, oh, I lost my thought because it just blew my mind about, um, yeah, that he built it so quickly, right? And guess even the name. They said, "Why did you choose Walmart?" He said, "Well, I couldn't." You know, he goes, um, I really had to be competitive against Kmart. And that was one of my, my ways of getting even with them was I wanted to put a Mart in the name. So that's why it was named Walmart was because he wanted, he had his name in there plus Mart instead of Kmart to go head to head with them. And that's what's funny about, it, I guess, you know, that even when he left that corporate boardroom that day when he said, you know, I, I quit, I can't take you. They laughed and said, oh, you'll never, you'll never be able to beat us. They said, we're too powerful. We got too much money. And they, I guess they basically laughed him out of there. Said, you know, whatever, good, go, good luck, Samuel Walton. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, oh, Sam Walton. So uh, anyway, um, isn't that amazing? So that, so now the entire history has completely changed. That you know that he started with a five and dime store and built it up. Like, are you kidding me? I mean, over the course of years and years and years and years, and you know, like it was a family business thing, start out small and then spread across the country. And I, oh, are you kidding me? So I hope you give me a thumbs up or give me a comment if you remember my history versus what you do, you know, about uh, Walmart. Another thing I want to show you too about Walmart. See that symbol on the right of the Walmart there, that, that flower? It's actually satanic. See, it's got six petals, Satan, and it's, you know, it's Satan. And I can't remember, they also said, it, I don't know if it's a lotus or something flower, that it's actually a, a false god type worshiping, okay? Also, they got to remember, everything is by walls, right? We've got, um, you know, Trump wanted to build a wall between here and Mexico. That's a wall. Wall, you know, divide the people. Wall, wall, divide the souls. Wall, wall. You know, everything that has kind of like a wall has a connotation to it that is negative, right? Not all, but to see like wall, march. See wall, you know, what I mean wall. And even Trump is, right, we're going to build a wall, build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. And so um, there's other things I shouldn't think of walls. Um, oh, the the uh, the Great Britain, the wall. You know what I mean? The wall, I'm seriously, that divide the German people, you know, a division of they, they did to the, the Germany, the Great Wall. Oh, there's a Great Wall of China, right? Now, I don't know how that played, but the Great Wall, I don't know how that division would be, whatever. But anyway, if it's got a term wall in it or other thing that tends to be something very negative, dark, and evil, right? We don't build walls. We don't build walls between God's children and, you know, people and stuff like that, okay? All right. God bless and love you all. Take care.